Gentlemen, we are back for another episode of the Unfiltered Podcast. I am your host, it's your boy Days, and I have my usual guests, the Grizz K and the B Rad, the B Bad, the B Rabbit. Brandon. Oh, hold up, bro. We ain't guests. We ain't guests, man. This is our show, too, Dick. This is our show. You got your own show, man. This is our show. <laughs> nah, but what up, y'all? What's got? What's popping? What's popping? What's new, guys? What's new in life? What's uh, new, man? How, how was everybody's week, though? I'm on spring break. Must be nice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was on spring break last week. Brandon doesn't get a spring break because he works the rest of his life. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's too busy adulting. Oh, he thinks he's an adult. My, my, my spring boys will be... My, my spring boys will consist of when I go on vacation in June. <laughs> yeah, that's a summer break. That's what I'm saying. Friend. That's not a that's, spring break. That's not a spring break, fool. Do you understand what's in June, you idiot? <laughs> it's not yeah, no it's, damn spring. Technically, all vacations not on summer yet. Technically, it's not. It's still spring. So yeah, it's spring break. Oh my god! Uh, no one cares about no technically, okay? okay? No one cares hey guys, about no you know technically. Right? Today is Tuesday. Oh my fucking yeah, it's god! Tuesday. What's up? The first day of spring. Man, I ain't in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much no. Oh, nigga, it's gonna be snowing tomorrow and the next day. Ain't no damn spring. <laughs> I know, it's winter Look all over again. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, my, my week's been good, you know what I'm saying? Got to be out in South Carolina, see the fam. You know, come back home. See that the Migos out here. Taking it back to Soul Train days. I I like it. I like the music era. It's impressive. Do you see Drake? I was like, what the fuck is Drake doing? <laughs> what what the fuck was up with that man's hair? The I video was right. awesome. I, I won't lie. It was dope. But what was up with that nigga's hair, bro? I know, right? Thanks. It was like that nigga was going for the Jerry Curl <laughs> look, but he was, <laughs> he was, you know, I got a little wet outside. It was like, fuck it. Just slap it on his head. Shit but looked like a, a wet crow on his head. <laughs> could you? Could you niggas gonna have to do some better with the style. The stylists have to do better with that shit because that you, shit was awful. Would you ever thought that was gonna be the music video? Or did you think it was gonna be something different? Uh, what do you mean? You think it I thought it was gonna. Go ahead. Do you think it'll I'm be trying to understand like... what you was talking about. Like you know, Ooh. do you think it'll be something like that, or do you think if they did something else, would it still go good? I go found it. But, uh, it's whatever. But it's a good, it's a, it's a, I like it though. It's actually pretty impressive how they is though. I like it. It was it. good. <laughs> it was good. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they didn't steal my idea, wink wink. Did they really? But, <laughs> no, they did not. Nah. Stop, stop being yeah, they did. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being a hater. No, they ain't <laughs> stole my idea. It was a dope video. I don't understand why Takeoff was wearing a blonde Afro yeah, puff. I was one of the same thing. I was like, okay. Why I was, I was, I was a... probably like the last Afro puff that nigga, uh, <laughs> you know, was allowed in the damn stylist room. So I was like, you know what? How's about you wear this? I know he was looking like, what the <laughs> fuck? Mm, mm, nah, that, it was well, good to I, see Offset pop locking and everything. I was actually impressed with the um when uh, with um what's it called? I'm trying to think. It's called shit. The ad libs. When they did the ad libs. The ad libs. That's what you're so uh, happy about. The ad libs. No, I, no, like how they pulled it off of the ad libs. Actually, what it was actually pretty good when they did it. Oh, what now? Oh, shit. Not, yeah, it was a good video. That wasn't even one of our topics, but we had to jump into that. I had to j dive into that shit. I like. And it. offsets back to pop blocking again. <laughs> mm. It kind of reminded me of it. America's Best Dance Crew. Remember mm -hmm. that show? That show was lit, bruh. Like the first three seasons, then it just turned to trash. That shit turned to trash. 
back when MTV was about music. Now oh. it's about teen moms and shit. a whole bunch of other <laughs> shit that don't mean anything. I mean, come on. Let's go. Mm. <sighs> but all right. So, That's enough of what, that. What is the first discussion of the day? Hmm. Oh my god. How was about the fact that 2K is fucking me over with this damn <laughs> game, man? <laughs> that's what they do. That's their specialty. That's 2K's specialty, okay? I feel like this is a chance that my player doesn't even make it to the NBA Finals. Because it's looking ugly. Well, anyway. it's, not like, it's not like you need to go back anyway, okay? Yeah, I already got six championships. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. Meek Mill. Might get early release, guys. That's good. Dealing with some corruption in the city of Philly. I don't know what the officer's name was, but there was actually a, a name of officers, I believe, along with New York, too, <laughs> who have been named to be corrupt police officers. And it so happens to be that one of the police officers is the one who arrested Meek Mill. So... You know, Meek Mill, he may get us, you know, shot to come home it. early. He needs to be out, but did you, ha did you hear about how much his legal fees are, though? Yeah, over $30 million. That's Insane. that's ridiculous. You think? That's the system for you. Mm-hmm. That is the system for you. But, I don't know. It was What else was interesting for me is that this man... He did an interview. I didn't necessarily read or listen to the interview. It was from a phone call, I believe. And he was talking about how he wants, you know, this, how the city, you know, people in the city has done them some type of way. And now he wants to move to Atlanta. I'm yeah. like, nigga, you been rich for how long and you still living in Philly? I know. I would move... Is it, doesn't doesn't um Wick Loss live in Atlanta? Like I know he has that big ass mansion. He lives in Florida, bro. Oh, okay. I thought I thought is that where the big mansion is, or where's that at? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not damn Google Maps. <laughs> I mean, you oh. might wanna you might wanna head up them and see exactly where his house. Is. I don't know, but I, if I had to take a guess, it's in Miami hmm. or somewhere in Florida. Oh, but yeah, it's just like now you want to move to Atlanta, man. And this was a guy who's, you know, made his case for other rappers who've been shot in the hood. I'm not saying that Meek lives in the hood, but he's made cases of saying where, oh, such and such needs to get out of the hood because there ain't nothing but trouble in your city. The fact that this man still lives in the city. I mean, you kind of, you're not practicing what you preach there. He should, he should, he should, uh, just move out, but he should don't, like he said, he should have done it years ago. Because I know when, when I blow up, nigga, I'm gone, bruh. Fuck the V, I'm out of this bitch. I'm out of this bitch. They can exactly. kiss my dick. They can kiss my ass and everything, Hold man. It. Nah, bro. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> stay away from, stay away from the goods. Mm. Anyway, I don't know. I didn't have a whole bunch of information on that one. I don't even know why that was on the topic list. But I hope my boy Meek Mill gets out soon. Hopefully, yep. it'll be you. another W for Philly. Just at the Super Bowl. But most importantly, they just need to get these crooked ass cops off the damn yes, street, man. It, it's that. just ridiculous. I can do that. It is. It's been ridiculous. I am so sick of these cops. And of course, people are going to be like, oh no, there's nothing wrong with cops. There's just only some good cops, man. Fuck out of here with all that shit. Fuck the, fuck the police, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no fuck good the cops. Police. Fuck the police. Fuck them. Fuck the police, fuck the police, fuck the police. Ain't no, ain't no good cops. If you are the type of person, if you're the type of cop, and you know there's some corruption going around, and you don't, and you don't speak about it, you don't speak on it, you don't 
report it, you are part of the problem. So as far as I'm concerned, all these M cops are crooked. Except the nigga that was shooting back in like 2012. Remember that nigga? It was like a ball head. It was a ball head black dude. He reported. Uh, I, I forgot what his name. It's Chris something. I don't remember. I can't. Yeah, he was shooting up a, a bunch of cops and shit. Got away into some log house out in California. Nigga got killed there. Basically, wrote his manifesto about police corruption and all that shit. But yeah. yeah. I'm the only crooked guy ass cop I don't know. Anyway, I hope my boy Meek Mill get on. You know what I'm saying? We need my boy Meek, man. Free Meek, man. Music. Till it's backwards. Need... Free Meek till it's backwards. We need new music. <laughs> no, but we need him home, though. We need him home. He deserves it. Uh, what else? What else we got? We got what we got? What we got? That's oh, not... DJ Envy. Oh God! I... You want to talk about DJ Envy? I already know uh, parts of it. You have to explain it more than I do, because how I just watched the video just a little bit ago. Okay, so I'm pause the game. So basically, what's going on with DJ Envy? You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know, homie walked out during an interview with uh, Date. I can't say the fucking name right. Desus and Mero. Walked out of the interview with them. Apparently what had him bent with Disa Samara was uh, it was a recent episode uh, it had showed like a clip. If y'all know anything about the Disa Samara show you know they basically do like reviews of clips you know what I'm saying they be shitting on the people in the clips and what up. And there was a clip where DJ Envy and his wife were on the uh, morning talk show The Real uh, you know, his DJ Envy's wife was explaining to DJ Envy, well, not DJ Envy, but anybody that was asking the question. I don't know who asked the question, but was basically saying, uh, I didn't know who DJ Envy was. You know what I'm saying? Basically, figuring out, you know, telling them how they met each other. She said, I didn't know who DJ Envy was, but. I think it was Desus who said, uh, but you knew them uh, DJ Envy checks, though. And, of course, that nigga DJ Envy got a little pissed. Got a little mad. Said, you shouldn't be saying disrespectful things about my wife. Blah, blah, blah. They was, you know, giving the road run down, and then the nigga just walks out. After he says, it's cool, it's cool. Gets up and walks out during the interview. Now, how... You know, how are we feeling about this? Is DJ Envy in the right? Should he be mad? Uh, if it's your wow. wife, yeah. If it's your wife, I think mean, you should, if it's your wife, to be honest. I yeah, it, it's his wife, so he can be, he can get mad, even if the dude was choking, because, I mean, let's think back to uh, uh, Kevin Garnett and Carmelo Anthony, okay? So, Carmelo, he was a vet when this happened. He knows that you talk trash on the court to get in people's heads. But then, Kevin Garnett uh, mentioned his wife. He said, I'm going to go see your wife tonight after this game or something like that. I don't know what he said about his wife. But then, no, uh, I remember sense. something about uh, some Honey Nut Cheerios being in the conversation. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Melo ain't like that. And he was waiting on him by the bus. By the bus that all the players get on. Uh, but security came out. It was like, Melo, you got to leave the bus. You can't wait on KG out here. So he got mad, but even though Melo knows the game, he knows it's basketball, they're going to try to make you angry. That's but true. it's your wife. But I feel like if you dish it out, you should be able to take it. Because if we know anything about the Breakfast Club, huh. there are ones who particularly like to dish out the bullshit. Not bullshit in being, you know, everything on that show is trash. I mean, it's a good show. It's a great show. But, you know what I'm saying? They, they get their little jokes in about such and such. You know what I'm saying? They got their own segment, Donkey of the Day. You know, they talk about such and such. I believe if you're one who particularly likes to take, you know, a couple shots in to some jokes, 
which DJ Envy has at some times, I won't say all the time, I feel like you should take something as slight as that. It, it was, if you look at the grand scheme of the joke, it's not that really, you know, it, it wasn't that, you know, oh my god, you shouldn't be talking about my wife like that. I get it, you like, you know, it, it, it felt like something you should be saying behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you can't be saying that about my wife. My wife ain't even like that, and you don't know about her. But other than that, I don't feel like that's something that you should necessarily get mad about. Like, that nigga was heated. <laughs> he was ready to fight them niggas over there. So and plus, just... that nigga DJ Envy. Let's not act like this nigga 100 respects his wife. I mean, the nigga... You know, he's been out. He's been out and about. It's pretty well documented. He, I mean, he said it himself. Oh. Maybe so. he's a changed man, right? Changed man. Maybe. I don't know why. I'm like, get the fuck out of that shit. I get it. It's your wife. You don't want, you know, you don't want to be put out on blast like that, but. Come on, man. If you dish it, you should be able to take it. And in that moment, to me, he looked, he looked sour. He looked, he looked sour grapes. Even when they apologized, you know, he was, you know, he throw a little pissy moon and he walked out. And, and he hasn't never had any people walk out? Um, Birdman? But when Birdman did it, it was a problem. <laughs> it was a problem when Birdman did it. Nigga, get out of here with that shit. Alright, listen, listen. We all have buttons that are pushed and when things are taken too far. Obviously, his wife and the uh, money thing is just too far for him. Nah, man. He, he feel like all of a sudden he wanna... Because there's also a point where the girl that he cheated on with, uh, which is a reality TV star, uh, she, you know, she... Had her little spat with his wife before, calling her ugly and, you know, all this and such. You know, just talking bad about it. Why didn't you take up for your wife then? Why didn't you say something about someone who's publicly dis, you know, disrespecting your wife? Worse. Worse than what Deesa Samira are saying. So he claims his wife makes more than money than he does. What does his wife do do anyway? I don't know what she do. <laughs> I don't know his wife, so I don't know. I don't know what she do. To me, in my mind, I'm saying the same thing that Disa Samara is saying. She knew about them checks though, but apparently they know each other since they were young. So, so. Like 15 or 16, somewhere on there. I don't know. I just feel like. Don't be brave heart when you get a couple of clowns around. That's like when Charlemagne said, Why are you getting tough with the radio guy? Why are you getting tough with a bunch of niggas who are just making a little couple jokes? But don't mean nothing personally by them, but yet you feel the need. And I understand, you know, some things you don't know whether it's a joke or not. But like I said, if you are able to dish it out, you better take it. He's a sour grapes. <laughs> it was a bad look for him. I think it was because, mm. like I said, like we said it before, it's not like they ever have guests who go off on them at, during the interview on the Bluffers Club. I mean, if you feel like that way about your wife when one person speaks about it, feel it about another way when somebody else speaks about it that way. You know, Poor, don't just be <laughs> choosy. You know what I'm saying? If you truly respect your wife as you say you do, don't be choosy about who you pick your battles with. <laughs> that sounds like me. Exactly what it sounds like. Alrighty. Anything anybody else want to say about that? Uh, I think we're uh, gonna... Nah, I don't have too many thoughts on it. Yeah. Alright, anybody else want to say something? Let's talk. Anybody wanna got another topic?
Let's talk about logic and the good and the bad for him. Oh, you want to get straight into that? What do you want to talk about first, the good or the bad? <sighs> Always start with the bad and lead to the good, okay? Not well, I'm just going to say, man, logic, man, a way to take an L and take a dub all in the same week. <laughs> I'm like, shit. If you guys don't That's know, basically what he did. If you guys don't know, Logic and his wife finally confirmed that they're getting a divorce. After so many, like a week of you, speculation, I, saying they're going to I don't know divorce. why you ask him if we don't know. I mean, I know you guys we know. already talked about so-called pre-production <laughs> and our little pre-production. <laughs> a little pre-production Yeah, a little mini 25-minute pre-production. I mean, we talked about it. Listen, if you don't know anything about it, you live on the rock. I don't feel like we should have to explain to people. But, you know, like I said, Logic took an L and took a dub all in the same week. That that, that deal hasn't got uh, confirmed by him or Def Jam that he got a 30 million deal. Well, he sure stands by that 30 million. Oh, <laughs> And then there's like so many people Chris has But it kinda <laughs> Like is he a thirty million dollar artist? Um uh, he, he... sort of. Yeah. Depends he... on what you uh consider a thirty million dollar artist. I mean yeah. I understand it that, you know, Suicide Song, that was a huge song. But four times platinum. I don't necessarily believe he can top that. I don't believe mm. he can top that. That was a very emotional and impactful song. I believe if he tries to do something like that again, it won't work out as great as it did for that one. But his Bobby Tarantino 2 sold over 100k. So, and that's that's good. The mark really good numbers. If you're selling over six digits, that's pretty damn good. So you still think but I'm just saying, I don't believe that he's necessarily a thirty million dollar artist, and I don't believe he's necessarily making thirty million dollars. I believe they, you know, because Def Jam, you know, the school of the artists, <laughs> you know, well they got uh, Eminem's manager. As this I guess ex manager now, uh, Peter Rosenberg. He's over there working now, so maybe things have changed. I don't know. I don't know either. But he definitely presented the bag to Logic. That is, if he's getting thirty million dollars, which I don't believe uh, companies just gonna be like, yeah, we're gonna give you thirty million dollars. I mean, it's not like Logic is a Drake or a Kendrick or you know any of these, you know. Premier artist. He's not that. So I don't necessarily believe that. Oh no. You already know I'm not mess you know, I'm not much of a Logic fan. I can congratulate when somebody makes a deal. I know he's pretty much happy about the deal. I just don't you know, I'm gonna have to see about that fact check about that thirty million dollars. Actually, like, I don't really Bobby care. Tarantino too. It, it's check like, it out. Did it's you just, listen? Uh, you gonna check it out? I, I, I need to. I, to I might about, check it out. I listened to about six tracks. It's actually it's decent, but it's not perfect or anything. It's just like I think he said. It, I think he said it before he doesn't take when I mean, he does Bobby Tarantino. He doesn't take it serious. Like when he did a Super Mario song, like he didn't take it mm -hmm. serious at all. Shh. So. Uh, he, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to it. I might give it an ear. Might give it an ear. But also, uh, off of the $30 million, sadly, him and his wife of two years are calling it a quits. And he was like, he, was like he chose $30 million over his wife? I'm like, seriously. So then again, I might, ha because of that situation, I might have to back off my comment of he won't do a song like that again because 
He may make another smash hit of an anxiety depression song again. <clears throat> he, he got something to talk about. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah, I think he's already said that after he did everybody, he said his fourth album will be his last. So I'm like, then what's the $30 million for then? I don't know. Probably the same reason why I'm trying to figure out why RCA want to give this amount of money to damn Childish Gambino when it's his last album. I don't know. It's it, it's cut. It's but, questionable. You know, I understand. You know, people are making their little biracial jokes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he didn't tell his wife how much biracial he is. There you go. <laughs> I've oh seen, I seen that really? joke. It's Every not me who's saying I've seen the joke. I don't care, man. You always coming at him for his biracialness, man. Okay? It's ridiculous. Okay. The, the other, it's a funny the, joke. The other thing is, on Bobby Tagliantino, the album art has his wife in it. So that's kind of crazy. And he got a divorce, too. Listen. Listen, he's getting a divorce. It's not the end of the world for him. He'll be fine. He'll get another woman. All right? It's all good. Yeah, but Jordan Lucas now has his eyes <coughs> set on oh, her. God. Oh, God. Don't get me started. I heard about that. I just didn't read the article. I was going to, but I'm like... I That's some cornball shit. I'm sorry, man. Jordan, man, you you a cornball, bro. I mean, this is how I just realized something. Is Jordan Lucas pointing... He's pointing to, like, the Hobson, like, when Hobson used to criticize everybody. He's pointing to like that. <laughs> he really is. Uh... <laughs> I wouldn't say he's the Hobson. Who do you say he like is? Like a man? new uh, I just think he's. I don't know. I just think he's someone who just loves to dick ride logic a lot. At the, you know, you know, he uh, actually responded to him in a song, right? I didn't listen to that song. It doesn't even sound, like he did. It yeah, even and then Joyner was like, "Call me out by my name, then." <laughs> and which we all know he's talking about Joyner, man. Yeah. There's no yeah, way that he's I, not talking about Joy. When I, I'm not lying. Every time I listen to a new album on Spotify, I always go on Genius and listen to we look at the lyrics and see what's the meaning. And then when I when I heard people like video, on videos on YouTube that said like that Logic finally responded to Journal, I was like, okay, so I'm like. But it's yeah. like uh, I don't know if you know the do you know the beef between them. Actually, well, the beef uh, that uh, uh, Joyner Lucas sees between them. Uh, that Not necessarily supposed, what logic supposed, sees between supposed them. Supposedly he sold the song, basically. He sold that song. Uh, that one hand around. Yeah, he stole time. some type of idea of a song, and then, like, he gets on the song with uh, Tech 9, and Logic didn't give much of an effort on the song just because <laughs> Joyner Lucas thinks that because he was on the song, so I and he didn't want to give much of an effort on it, and, you know. We don't want, um, so That's after, pretty right? much like that. I think it is, right? But now it just seems like he's chasing somebody who's just above him. I don't understand it, man. You're basically using logic as a tool for relevancy, and it's the truth. You're using him as a tool. It's not necessarily any beef. There's no beef. We are, like I said before, Biggie already told us what beef is. There's no beef. Especially when it comes to their situation, they're stupid. Sounds and for you stupid. to harp, and for you to harp on it as long as you have, come on, dog, you gotta give it up. And then you gonna follow the man's wife after, you know? Like I get it. You you're trying to be somewhat like Fifty Cent with the jokes, <laughs> but the jokes on you when no one really cares about your shit when it drops. I mean, you dropped that little, uh, you know, oh, I'm not racist shit. Yeah, I was And I brought you up there. To, I gave you a platform to actually talk about lots. But after that, he just started hating on everybody. Yeah, he's just. It's just more so with logic. Like, I don't know. He, he feels like he should be in logic's place, so that's why he talks as much shit as he does with him. I don't know. It's just childish, and you're not necessarily growing from the situation if you keep harping on it. I mean, I get it. It's all jokes and fun, but I mean, come on, dog. 
If you pathetic. really care about yourself, it's pathetic. Yeah. If you really care about yourself, you you in that shit now. There's no beef. Logic literally sees no beef with you. You well, are a barely a little image in this peripheral. Okay, get get uh go by Logic's uh, motto. <laughs> so he, he doesn't try to hate on anybody. Hey, you better just all I want is love and positivity. That's how Logic feels. But yet you're the one who's you know keep pressing buttons. It's almost like uh Cameron and Mace. Oh my God! Because the same thing happened between them two. Cameron kept poking at the giant. Well, not necessarily giant. The quiet person in the room. <laughs> Twenty years later, the quiet person in the room decides it's time to get a little more. It's time to get a little rowdy. When he got a little rowdy, he shut that shit down. I'm the same joiner. It could be you. Logic might get off that biracialness shit and might, you know, decide to catch a body on the nigga. <laughs> so you might want to stop the antics now while you're ahead. But I can I can never see yeah, can, I can never see uh, Logic actually doing a diss track on somebody. He can like respond like with a few bars, but he gonna do a whole song just criticize somebody. I don't know. Everybody has a breaking point. I mean, yeah, like exactly. I said, Mace did. Mace didn't respond to Cameron right, a, right away when they was having their little beef. But their beef was personal. Where did it start from, basically, Flo? Like, what are you I talking about? Th their beef, Mace and Cameron. This, this was back in the day. It's, it's some New York street shit. Shit I don't know about. Shit that you won't know about. I don't. I just heard their diss tracks, like, like when it, they first came out, like last year. I'm so fucking sick of this guy. But yeah. Yeah. Uh. Anything else we wanna speak about Logic? Mm, I think we'll Leave him alone about his biracialness, is what I'm telling you. <laughs> Everybody's right, gotta talk nah. about it. It's gotta be. Right, when, he, gotta... when he stops talking about it, then I'll stop talking about uh, it. Hey, nah, you're not, uh, nah, you don't we, need to talk about it. Hey, no, I'm gonna talk about it. The other thing is, nah, he's nah. not the only biological rapper who actually talks about being biological, so... Well, who... <laughs> please name another rapper who's done that. Drake can do it. I don't know one. Drake can. When uh, does he harp on it, like... Uh, no, he doesn't harp on, on it or anything. So, so are you... So, are you... Bit backflapping again? No. First you said, oh, he doesn't... Oh. He doesn't <laughs> talk about his biracialness. And then when we was doing the bracket, you sat there and said the same thing that I said. Now you're taking the back. <laughs> okay, which one is it? Both. Which one is it? <laughs> nah, ain't no both. Ain't no both, man. Could switch the sides. Oh my god. Okay, let's go to the next story. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now you, you want to go up to the next story. Now, now, oh, now you want to go because you ain't got nothing to say. Now, <laughs> now you ain't got nothing to say. Now you want to go up to the next story. No. <laughs> We're going to talk about more of your hypocrisies, Brandon. Isn't that hmm? everything? Don't be rushing the subject. That's everything. Ooh. You're right. That is everything. Fuck. Everything you do is hypocritical. Oh. They coming at you, Brandon. Just gonna let him come at you like that? He ain't got no choice. He ain't got no choice. Damn. <laughs> mm. Come on, Brandon. Defend yourself. <laughs> you guys be a dick to me every single day. <laughs> oh, now his feelings is like, man, fuck you. What else we got on the topic? Uh, uh, talk about one of yours first. What did Alex say? You want yeah, to yeah. Talk about yours. Alex. All right. So. Word, uh, Justice League has finished its final run at the box office, and it is official. It is now the lowest grossing movie in the DCEU. The team movie. Let's get this uh, straight, folks. The team movie that put all the pieces together is now the lowest grossing film in their cinematic universe. So first thing is, what are your guys' thoughts on that? That's Does it deserve not to be surprising. That? Not surprising. <laughs> Well, actually, it is kind of surprising. I actually expected to do a lot, you know, it was to just sleep, but I guess people are catching on to the point where 
Warner Brothers in DC doesn't produce good movies anymore. They get, oh, it's it. not Warner Brothers. Well, it is Warner Brothers, but I don't think it's just Warner Brothers not producing good movies. Because they produce good movies, they just don't know what to do with the DCEU. It, I'm not and lying. that's exactly why I'm bringing Warner Brothers into this. Because you are, are one that you spend your money on that too. You know what I'm saying? You're putting your money, you're investing your money in the time and the acting that are being done into these movies. And you want them to be perfect. You want to make that money back plus some. That, this that, movie did not do that. Uh, the other thing is, a lot of DCEU movies are hit and miss. Like Wonder Woman, that's a great movie. But then when you go to uh, Batman vs. Superman, it's like, what is this? <laughs> but that, that's one. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be a whole bunch of pointing the fingers. It's people at, you know, that damn Warner Brothers who are doing the same shit too. Okay, um... So they're taking, they gotta take some money. But then again, I am surprised. I thought I was gonna say, but I I knew the movie wasn't gonna be shit. Y'all sat there and was like, nah, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Might have a chance. It's called nah. being hopeful. It's called being hopeful, okay? Optimism. Oh. You should hope try it. You should hope, try it. Hope has its days. Listen, Superman symbol I, is a representation of hope, okay? Listen. But he got his ass killed by a made up monster, man. Mm -hmm. The fuck made out of here with this. Made up? Made up. <laughs> made All right. Up. Human made oh, monster killed him. Hold on. Maybe, Doomsday maybe. is not really a human made monster. I know that, but in the movie. Alright, dog. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm getting tired of your crap! He was a human-made monster. Alright, listen. First maybe of all, Super, Maybe Superman in the DCEU is not the godlike superhero that we thought he was. I don't know. Okay, so here's another question. What do you think can save the DCEU, or should it even be saved? What could save the DCEU? Better movies yeah. would be a, a good start. That's <laughs> actually producing something that is come with good t content. Well, that's obvious. Uh, better actors. I feel like, uh, like I said before, I'm not a fan of Ben Affleck's Batman. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> He's just not that. He's just not that for me. First Batman, he did he did good. Still didn't say how badly the movie was, but he did pretty good. Justice League, trash. Wow. You cannot really? defend. You cannot defend his performance in it. That was awful. First of all, he wasn't the bad part of Justice League. Everything else was bad about Justice League. But he was a part of it. He's a part of the badness. He he gets he gets his credit too. He gets his credit too. He did what he could with the script that was written for that movie. He did Man. what he could. Maybe Ben Affleck again is not one of them great actors that people oh. so wholly hold him to. They're like, oh yeah, Ben Affleck. He's now this and this. You know what I'm saying? He does his own movies. How many great movies have we? Truly seen of Ben Affleck. I mean, like, great. The, the Town oh, is a like great three. movie. The Town exactly. is a great. I love the Town. I won't. The I won't town, see it. And shit. Argo. Don't get me started. Uh, Argo. That movie is amazing. Go ahead, let them have it. It's an amazing movie. I don't hate on it. I love that movie. It's a great I movie. All right, hate on that movie. <laughs> And was it was it Goodwill Hunting that he was in with Matt yeah. Damon? I think it was Goodwill yeah. Hunting. Yeah. So good. That's three right there. His butt buddy Matt Damon. <laughs> no, I, I, so. there. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing but the truth. I spit Listen, facts that, and I spit them well. If if that's his butt buddy, then Ron Coogler's butt buddy is Michael B. Jordan. So let's just be fair <laughs> about it. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you did. But you did a good comparison. Can we sit there and say that they still <laughs> two have created bad movies? Have I mean, Matt, Matt Damon created bad movies? With together, I don't, know, I don't, I don't watch much. 
I don't watch much of them, so I don't really care about Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. But yes, since we're speaking on Ben Affleck, yes, he's he's not a good Batman. They need to find somebody better than him. Here you go. Well, he's already said he's out. So you're gonna get your wish. You, you, and the rest of your little dick buckets uh, group that doesn't like Ben Affleck are gonna get your wish. Thanks for ruining Batman, you cocksucking horse. I think we made it better, man. Heck what, no. what, what movie have I made a bad prediction on? Every movie that you've Wonder seen together. Hold on, hold on. What movie have you made a bad prediction on? Wonder Woman. All right, Woman. let's go down the list. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Hold on. When did I say Wonder Woman was bad? You had, no faith in it. you had no faith in it. I said that in the trailer, it looks good, but and yet again, it's a DC movie, so I don't <laughs> know. I still haven't seen the movie, so it could be bad to me still. Yeah, but tell it to that 92% Rotten Tomatoes score. Oh. Well, you know, Rotten Tomatoes said that Blade Runner was one of the best movies of the year and I went to go see that shit and I fe literally fell asleep in the movie thing. The reason listen, why. So the reason I don't why, necessarily oh listen to Rotten Tomatoes. About it. You did not see the original. So how you gotta know about it if you didn't see the original? I tried to watch the original and the original did the same thing to me. <laughs> it bored you, me. You can't watch uh, metaphoric uh, art style movies. Listen, I, if it's gonna be some sci-fi, I gotta have a little bit of, more action than what it did, man. That shit was boring. It was Blade a beautiful, was look, never, beautiful looking movie, but it was boring. It was never it was about boring. action. Blade Runner was never an action movie. Well, I shouldn't have seen it. I wasted, I literally wasted my 11 plus dollars on that shit. <laughs> oh, Peter you Fierce, she fell asleep too. <laughs> and, See, and that was an action movie that deserved to be falling asleep on. Alien Covenant? Anyway. Alien Covenant was meh. <laughs> Hold on. It wasn't bad, it was just meh. Uh, are you saying that's another movie that I said was good? You oh, are you saying, saying that's the. You fell uh, asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did fall asleep on that shit, too. I guess anytime I fall asleep on a movie, it's never, it's never <laughs> been much. good. That's so. what it sounds like. <laughs> Well, except yes. Civil War, because I fell asleep like towards the like, last five minutes of the movie. Look at you. Look at you. You're just tired, all right? You always coming out here tired thinking that the movie's bad. That's man. That was the only movie that I slept through. Well, I didn't, I didn't sleep through that movie. I only slept through like the last five minutes, so I don't necessarily count. But anyway, name another movie where I made a bad prediction, though. Alright, alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got one. You said that Guardians 2 was going to be good, and it wasn't. So. It was good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was good. It was not. It was a good movie. <laughs> no, it was no, not. Tell me five wrong. jokes that was funny. Tell me five jokes that was funny. Oh, where, uh, of course where Batista was being a damn savage, the old girl. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yeah, that was funny too. <laughs> That's only two. That's only two. No, there's other ones. I just it's been a while since I watched the movie, so I can't mm. just spit a whole oh, bunch now. of shit now out. Now it's been a while. Now it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a while, nigga. What else you want me to say? <laughs> shit. I'm just saying that. Any other movies? Uh, the emoji movie. Uh, hold on. The what movie? Uh -huh. <laughs> the Moji <laughs> movie? Oh nah, my he god. Just, he just he just saying random crap. Oh my. Yeah, I never <laughs> but, talked about the Moji movie. But listen. I could have easily told you that shit was going to be trash. Here's what's going to save the DCEU. Here's what's going to save it. And no, a it can't say on. Now go ahead and let they, go talk. They're going to do it. Now, it's going to be like a half. It's not a full on, actually. So let me switch it. A half reboot. Half reboot? Half reboot, which means you keep the stuff that works, you get rid of the stuff that doesn't, and you reboot it all with you keep half the actors, get rid of half the actors, switch up the universe, and you're good. Who else should leave, in your opinion, that hasn't left? Uh, Lex Luthor, uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. He should definitely leave. Let's see. Uh, 
That's really the only ones that kind of need to leave. We haven't seen enough from Aquaman. Or Flash. Yet. Uh, or Flash, though. I didn't really like the Flash in Justice League, so I wouldn't mind if he left. <laughs> I think you don't want to make his character too stupid because that's what you talked about before. Yeah, it's I think, uh, I think you can do a remodel of his character uh, than other than what they already portrayed him to be. A goofball. And also what oh, they need boy. to do is get a game plan. They have no game plan right now. They're just throwing movies in the wind like, you get a movie, you get a movie, everybody gets a movie! <laughs> and there's no plan. Okay? Oh, yeah. Marvel has a plan. They plan everything out. Like four, DC needs to start planning. Don't they plan theirs like and, four uh, years All of their movies have connection to them. Uh, you can't say the same thing for DC. Is that true though, Alex? Doesn't Marvel plan their movies like four years in advance? Like somewhere on there? Okay. They say they have their movies planned out four years in advance. Well, not anymore, actually. I don't think they know what's going to happen in either phase four or whatever it's going to be, phase five, six, seven. They don't know that. Because okay. they're about to get the X-Men, and they have they didn't know they was going to get the X-Men. So now they're like, oh crap, what are we going to do now? How are guys so, how are guys listen to the universe? Mm. Just yeah, a lot that's to take you. That's what's gonna save it. That's what's gonna save the DC. Uh, this is a lot of stuff they need to do. Soft reboot and have a plan, and they'll be fine. <laughs> get oh, almost got him. And yeah. also, get rid of some of those CW shows. Jesus Christ, they're becoming worse and worse. What's worse now? What's the? Like, I don't worse? watch anything on the CW. Uh, What's the so, current worst out? I feel like The Flash has suffered for the past like two seasons. Uh, I never liked Supergirl. Trash. Uh, <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow. Sexist. <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow is like, why does that even exist? So. Mm, what about Black Lightning? Oh, yeah, I don't like that either. Oh, wow. I thought you he was like, up for it and all that. Oh, because he's black! He thought I was like it because he's black! Yeah, you racist. <laughs> Bring him back with his racial <laughs> antics again. Uh, and, uh, and then Arrow is kind of just recycled storylines over and over. I liked Arrow for like the first th uh, two and a half seasons. And then it kept <laughs> recycling storylines. And I'm like, stop it! <laughs> They can't stop the music. Oh, yeah. CW. I don't know. Are the shows, would you say, are the shows better than the movies? Uh, okay. If we're talking story-wise, then I, I have connected with the shows more than the movies. Story-wise. Except for, let's see, Wonder Woman and Man of Steel are probably still better than any of the CW shows. But, uh, yeah, I connect with the CW shows a bit more. Oh, my God. Lonzo, you push up shot. All right. Oh. Is there anything else we want to say about that? I think we're good. But yes, DC needs to do a complete overhaul with storylines. Uh, yes, fighting a better Batman. I heard Jake Gyllenhaal was oh god up no. in the air. Hey, All right, man. hold on. Let's just let's just stop with the stupidity right there. I'm cutting <laughs> cut it right there. We're not Jake hey, Gyllenhaal. I did not say that he would be a great Batman. I just he said wouldn't. this is who whose name is up in the air. Yes, I agree with you. He wouldn't. But this is a name who's in the air. All right. Now. I don't like I'm it. A... But who do we think could be the next Batman? John Ham. Yeah. John Ham. John Ham. But don't is he a little too old though? Oh. They had Ben Affleck playing an older Batman. You tell me, John Ham can't do it. I mean, how old is John Ham? Is he like in his fifties? I don't know. Let me get my Google friend to find out. <laughs> do the Google search. But yeah, I don't. John Ham. I believe if he was a little bit younger, yes.
John Hamm is only 47. He can pull it off. He's all he's pushing 50, so yeah, it pretty much validates my argument of him being a little too old. Hold on, you hold up. You can't say that. I mean, when ben only 45. I mean, at least listen. I already told you how I feel about Ben Affleck being Batman. All right. I, he can be like in his late 30s, probably early 40s. But I'm just saying. Here's the advantage of having an older Batman. Okay, I'm gonna let you know. Cause if you have an older Batman, you can have all of your Robins ready to go. Dick, Jason, Tim, and Damien ready to go if you do an older Batman. If you don't, you can't have any of them ready to go. Hmm. But what if they do like a young Batman? No, what he's always in. He looks like he's always. And in then the they dog. make him all. Uh, he can't. He couldn't do it. Uh, he gonna be like a ten-year-old Batman. Oh my God! I see, <laughs> now you're just. You're just <laughs> now you're just saying. But see, they already have young Batman on the show Gotham, and it's awful. No, let's no. Gotham is not awful. Gotham is I, I, I rebuke. I rebuke that. I Gotham, oh that. my god. Gotham is worse than the CW shows that I just talked about. No, nigga, no. Yeah, no, it is yeah, not. Yeah, that shit is pre yes, pure yes. regurgitated <laughs> trash. Gotham yeah, is dude. awesome. Gotham is the worst DC show. Worse than Supergirl. Worse than Legends of Tomorrow. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> All you watched was like two episodes, nigga. Now you want to say it's completely awful? Okay, so you so you seen the recent stuff now? I saw the whole first season. Trash. Oh Nigga, no, it's not trash. You are trash. Awful. You are trash. Okay. Everything you yeah. say is trash, man. <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of here with that Let DC boost. Let me tell you something. It's garbage. Arrow. Listen, as much as crap as much <laughs> crap as I give the CW shows, Arrow in season <laughs> six, going downhill, is better than Gotham. <laughs> Come on. Huh? Well, let's be realistic here. Let's be realistic here. No, it's not. I'm a realist. Brandon, oh. put a poll. I want to poll up Gotham versus Arrow. <laughs> Do it, Brandon. <laughs> you heard it first, man. Everybody, y'all already know Gotham no, is no, the one. Like man, Brandon, we have, to, we have told Brandon to put up polls that never got put up before. Yes, they, yeah, they do. <laughs> Look, watch the videos. They're on there. What poll? Mm. I don't, I don't watch our content, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, yeah. I I'd just rather those. not rewatch something that I already lived before. <laughs> but, to be yeah. Honest, to be honest, the last uh, video has three poles in it. <laughs> Your mom's house has three poles in it. <laughs> You gonna let that slide, Brandon? You gonna listen, let it slide? listen, listen, Brandon. That's just a joke. Calm down, Brandon. I'll pull a GJ Envy. <laughs> oh, oh, you gonna oh, man? Fuck it, me, man. No, nah, I don't mean out. that. I don't mean that. If he invite you on his show and you criticize him, he'll probably go eight point you probably. If he if he mentions this episode, I'm gonna tell him how I felt, and that's just gonna be the end of it. If he wants to throw hands, we can throw hands. Charlemagne in the background. Huh? Charlemagne. is just gonna give us a damn donkey of the day, and he's just gonna sit there, being partially light skinned. Oh. <laughs> 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 he's sitting there with his uh, what's the shit that Beyonce uses, L'Oreal or some shit? That for hair. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybelline. Right now, Maybelline, I meant. He's going to put on this Maybelline and shut the fuck up. Maybe it's Maybelline. Alright. Alright. Let's see what else we have up to. That's enough got, of that. I got one. No, no. Uh, what? What? Uh, Nav criticizing double XL. Yes. What's the Nav? Yes, I know. I, listen, I never necessarily agree with what Double XL puts on a freshman list. It's been a lot of, a lot of trash these last what two years? Yeah, two years. Yeah, I can say that. 
last two years have been awful. Especially the last one. Oh, God. And listen, man. Nav. I know you're hurt. You want to be on the list. To be honest, I believe you should be on the list because you are one of them trash rappers that deserve to be on those lists. Mm. Now, if Double XL has changed their mind, they want to actually, you know, take a rap a little more seriously. They want to put some actually talented rappers on there. I think that's what they're doing. And it's because Nav didn't get presented on there. He feels a little, he feels a little slighted. Mm-hmm. But I mean, come on, man. Nav, you you would put Xanax to sleep. Ooh. And that, that's what you would literally do, man. You are Alex, a literally you, boring. One. Alex, you're probably the only one who has yet to listen to Nav. I think you need to listen to him because he sounds. You don't need to listen to him. Just take my word for it. Exactly. You need to listen to listen to one to song. One song. Uh, I don't need to uh, listen to crap, man. You, you don't need to listen to that crap. It'll make you fall asleep. It's boring. It'll, it's boring. It'll make you fall asleep. If you ever had have an insomniac night, let's play a <laughs> nav song. I guarantee you, you go to sleep in the first thirty seconds. He will. <laughs> and that's being that's me being nice. It, but yeah, I mean, even sound to, even though he signed to his boy that he's so happy about, like he plays in them all the time. And that's oh yeah, he, he signed to Weekend, man. He's a weekend signee. He's part uh, of the EXO, the EXO life. EXO sweatshop. Well, listen, weekend's a good singer. I never said he was a good businessman. I don't know who else is signed. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I don't know who else is on that roster. All I, all I know is the distribution is with public. That's all I know. But Nav is out there. I don't know anybody else of weekend's camp. That's making it out there, but Nav's out there. But he's just not good. So that's why I'm surprised that he's not on the list. Hey, Nav, if you're surprised, I'm surprised too. Because the last two times these niggas have made their freshman list, it's been a lot of garbage, uh, and you deserve to be in that pile as well. They did. They did. I think they did say that he did say he was part. He was gonna be part of the 2016, but he turned it down. Listen, if you turned it down, that's on you. That's on you. You have nobody to blame but yourself. I want... I've been thinking, should I take up Double XL's offer if they ever offered me that cover? I feel like... Get you some I exposure. Was, yeah, but I feel like the more successful people are the ones who don't make it on there. Yeah. There's always like one or two of every cover that necessarily is a huge talk. Yeah, if he was like, oh, why is Jordan Wickers not on 2017? Why is he not on this? Why is he not on that? Uh, but, what? who else? Fu what? Future was, it was 2012, I believe. 2012, 2013. I think 2013. He was surrounded. I think it was 20, 2011, 2012. But either way. He was surrounded with a bunch of other people that I thought were going to do something. Uh, French Montana, Iggy Azalea, who else? Roscoe Dash was on there. I think Chief Keith would have been on there, but he was locked up at the time. And they had the picture say he's in, hey, he's on the part of the list. He just had a picture. Uh, Mac Lamore. Uh. Yeah, but a lot of them are trash, and Future has been the one that's grown. Uh, I don't know what year it was that J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar was on, but they was both on the same cover. I want to say it was 2010. I think I could agree on that, or, I believe. No. And I feel like they are the only ones who made it big out for that. So I feel like... If you're a rapper and you want to have a successful longevity in your career, you don't take double XL. But if you like these uh, half ass rapping ass niggas with littles all tagged in the front of their names, then yeah. Oh my God. I believe double XL is exactly where you want to go. Mm. But I don't I don't want to hear them trash ass freestyles no more. I, I, got, I got tired of that shit. 
I literally did. That is the most embarrassing thing. A lot of these rappers, I don't even know why they want to freestyle. So, so, you know that you can't freestyle worth a damn. Why you want to go up there and freestyle? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like, I'm a rapper. But I can admit I'm not the best freestyle. Freestyler guy. I mean, I mean, if a spit. motherfucker asks me if I want to spit, I'm going to be like, nah, cuz. I ain't go ahead spit. And spit. Go ahead no, and I ain't spit. I ain't spit. I ain't spit. No, I ain't spit. Oh, shoot. Yeah. And, and also, I've seen a tweet from the Amigo saying, listen, now nah, we get it. We understand you because Double XL did it. Same thing to us. Middle finger to them. Mm. But Migos pretty much forged their own path, man. But they don't. I don't they know don't, if, don't if Nav is going to forge his. Nav is not going to forge his own path. I'm sorry. There's nothing that he can necessarily produce that make me say anything otherwise. Oh no. Nah. He really is one of the few people that actually just jumped out of anywhere. So I, it's almost like he's an industry industry plant. Mm. I mean, how the hell did this nigga jump on a Travis Scott song so quickly? Now we now. didn't know who the fuck he was. Right. Oh no. But now, let's stop. I, I believe that you should believe in your craft more than anybody else should believe in your craft. But I don't. I don't look at you as being that guy. That oh my god, he's gonna prove Double XL wrong. Man, get the fuck he out won't. of here. He shit. won't prove him wrong. Fuck no. I just don't see it. I'm not being a hater. I just don't see it. Mm. Then if like like yeah, I'm not lying, you'll have the editor in chief of Double XL go to Breakfast Club again saying, "Oh, um, he declined for this year. He declined. He didn't want to do it when they offered." Yeah, he probably it. did decline. Cause that's what happened to YF and Lucci. He was got it last year, but he turned it down. Then a week before the shoot, he's like, "Oh, I want to do it now." I believe that. Some rappers just want the courtesy of being asked. Do they want to be on there? But they also want to have the privilege of, yeah, I'm bigger than double XL. I'm just going to turn it down. I'm going to get on whenever I want to get on. But if you hold that note, your nose up that high, you might as well just stick to it and stop trying to be on there after you decline it the first time. Yeah, you gotta push it, push it to the limit, limit. No, I'm not gonna lie, I might, I might be the same way. I'm like, you know, Double XL is gonna come up to me and I'm gonna be like, yeah, yeah. We really would like for you to be one of our uh, faces on our such and such year freshman list. I'm like, yeah, I got other things to do. Sorry, maybe <laughs> another year. Ooh. Yeah, I never hit him back. Let's be an asshole I, about I've it. Said, I've said this nah, multiple, I wouldn't. I've said this multiple times, but I think if you've been in the game for so like two or three years, I don't believe you should be on the web sale. You have to be in the game for less than like like a year, maybe two years, if that. You can't be in the game but for like five or six years. This got, has gotta be. A lot of these guys have been on the game for years, and it took them a while to necessarily blow up. Yes, I can do that. Cause remember when we, so we if you if you feel the heat rising, then that's where you're like, okay, that's where we should put him on, put him on the cover, cause this is the guy that everybody needs to take a look at. We like me and you did it before discussed on like the whole freshman class like, all the all the years and discuss how some of them like you don't even hear from them anymore. Yeah, so a lot of them, them I don't hear fall. anymore. Like whatever happened to that nigga Roscoe Dash? This nigga out here being an Uber driver and shit. Yeah, 
whatever happened that to um, crazy. What, whatever happened to um, Pill? And Pill, and I told you yesterday, like a few days ago, Pill released a song after being in high age for like six years. <laughs> mm. Ooh, man, this is high age, like six years. How you gonna have a hit like all the way turned up and then become an Uber driver later? Like you should have some money, man. You should have some money. Yeah, he he's it. had several hits. He's done No Hands with Waka Flocka and Wale. Uh, again, like you said, all the way to uh, turned up. Uh, what other songs? Um, he's had he's at Show Out. Show Out. Like he's had out. dope. So he had dope songs. But I feel like, you know, maybe it wasn't for him. I mean, he, it seems like he's happy of being an Uber driver. But he did he did hate on it. He already told people, like, oh, no, I'm not doing Uber driving. I feel like... Well, he about. ended up admitting, he's saying he's his own businessman. Huh, doing what? I, I, I didn't know being an Uber driver is being your own businessman. Unless you're uh, running your own driving thing. Uber, Uber driving, is are, uh, a name are, brand. You are self-employed, though, and <coughs> you set your own hours, you, so... Yeah. Girl, Still, it's, it's, it's somebody else's company, though. But they don't Got pay you any benefits or anything. DJ, turn me up. Ladies, it's your jam. Come on! <laughs> Who else? There's other people. Oh, Wale's starting to look like he's becoming that person. Well, I don't know. Wale's had hit songs. Yeah, but... And, he, and he's had a... What, what? How much did the gift it do? It went platinum. No, I only went gold. Still, that's pretty successful. Yeah. But <clears throat> he's, I don't know. He's one of these rappers who need to, you know, get back on his feet. Uh, MG MGK, another one for me. I don't know. Alex Oxen to extent. I like MGK, but he was never a rapper that was going to sell high amounts of well, albums. Yeah, but he, he's, uh, his last single did pretty good last year, didn't it? Uh, Bad Things? Yeah. It's his highest but I think it was, like a, it was like a pop rap, like rap yeah, shit. Yeah, it was. Tw yeah, okay, that's the why. One that, the, I found out the year that... It was 2011 for me, for uh, Kendrick and um, and uh, Jayco. Uh, yeah, <coughs> that's when Mickey Mouse was on there too, and Big Kurt. <laughs> Big Kurt. Here we go again. Here we freaking go, Brandon. What the is other wrong thing, with you? The other, the other thing, you also had, you also had um, Will Twist on that too. No, 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 don't you freaking change the subject oh, on me. God. I said, what is wrong with you consistently <laughs> saying Big Kurt? Shit happens, okay? Shit happens. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's crit. Crit. Like grits. Crit. I should have gone by I could be proud of you, said. Brandon, but you disappointed me again. <laughs> I should I should honestly Yellow. just go I should just call him by his his real name. <laughs> I know. I might help me. I'll a lot call you by your real name. Little you know bitch. What? I should hey! yeah, that's your real name. Oh really? Okay, cunt. Hey, hey man, you open the door, I just walked in it, you know what I'm saying? That's what I tell everybody. <laughs> my Willie. You should be blessed. I should be blessed? Hell no. Yeah. I think you're already blessed by my presence. Nah, be, be thankful. Be thankful. Yeah. All right. Enough about Nav. No one gives a fuck about Nav. Uh. Tired of talking about it. There's uh Do we believe if Barty has a bun in the oven? Um. Not exactly. I think she doesn't. Cause. I, don't, man, I, I think she. I think she does, man. I, I seen a video on Instagram. I think I, I already told you about it, but yeah. seen her on the uh, Instagram video, and she was basically like shaking hands with fans and stuff on the down girl. And then there was uh, a fan who got a little too excited, start holding on to her, and she was like, "Bitch, get the fuck off me!" <laughs> but that, while the video was funny, I just noticed like a little. It's like a little. Ouch. On Cardi. Here we go. Maybe she's a big fat. 
And that, and that's what she said. <laughs> she was like, "Let me fat in peace." But I'm like, "Nah, you pregnant?" Because uh, what was the last award show? Was it the uh, iHeart? Yeah, iHeart. Did you see the dress that she had on? I didn't. What about it? I did. Um, mainly of the dress that she had on, it was like covering up the stomach so you don't know that she, you know, getting a little swole in there. So do you believe she got to pull a Kylie Jenner and just like don't announce her pregnancy so she has the kid? Well, I or, think or, or it's already Beyonce. known that she's going to have a kid. I don't think she's going to pull a Beyonce or uh, a Kylie Jenner because she's supposed to be on SNL this week. So, there's no way you can hide that. Shadok's got to be on there too. Unless, unless she's wearing some type of dress that's still like big around her stomach area. So, mm. supposed to be here reportedly in July. I don't think there's a be even better month to have a baby. Why is that? Oh, cause your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, July babies are real niggas. Oh my trash. god. No. It's a facts. Trash. According to who? Every real nigga around the world. <laughs> Did you have to go? Oh there? my god. I don't think there's a better, better way of having a baby who. Who will be a cancer? Cause us cancers, we keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Cancers don't hold cancer. back. Nah, man. I don't. What month are you born in again? November. I'm a Sagittarius. Man, you're a Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is it because you hate on me oh, oh. today? Basically, you guys got hate on me all day. <laughs> Listen, man. I got beef with you. But you know what I'm saying? That, that beef. Be behind the scenes. No, I'm just playing. Ain't no beef. I just like fucking with you. Oh You're too God. easy of a target. Why not Alex? You can go with him, not me. You and me That's every single day. Y'all don't want to go. You don't want to go. Give him, nah, Give him. We can go. We can go, man. We can go. Ring the bell. We can go. <laughs> Ring the bell, you say? Ring the bell, I say. Why anyway. don't you ring the bell on this topic and get to the next one? It has what? Shut up hey, and let me speak. Oh now I'm ready to speak. All right. Boy, you might have a button of it, but anyway. Uh, Floyd Mayweather looks like he's about to get his MMA license by the end of the year. I think that's what he's targeting for. So it looks like 2019. Yeah, it may happen. He just it wants the bag. It's all he wants. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Well, it's not really a problem. It's not He's a problem. He's gonna get his butt kicked. He's gonna get his butt kicked. He's gonna get his ass kicked. Gonna get his ass kicked. Gonna see him laid out on the canvas, blood leaking from his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that needs to be said. No, there's more to be said. There's more to be said. Uh, yeah, yeah I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't believe he's going to win. I think when you're stepping in a whole another sport within the compounds of this one year, but then again, you know, Floyd Mayweather, he doesn't take a fight unless it's in his, uh, his world. In his stipulation, so even if he gets his MMA license, he may say, "Hey, we'll fight in the next three years." This, yeah. If he says that, then I quit. You quit? What do you quit, though? Even I quit watching anything involving him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you watched anything that necessarily involved with him, unless the last fight in the Pacquiao fight. <laughs> but. <laughs> Uh, what if he won? Oh God! Uh, He'd be so well, happy to see all that money. Could you imagine all the MMA heads shit themselves that day? 
Like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> the world would, l half of the world would literally explode if that was to happen. Oh no, it, it probably be worse than a damn nuclear holocaust. Oh god, really? I think really? every mo angry motherfucker in with their monster energy drinks and their tap out shirts with this riot in the streets. Yeah, but it's not gonna happen. It's not. Hey man, if it's if it's in Floyd's stipulations, it made this happen. There ain't gonna be no stipulations. If he signs up for a UFC fight, then it's gonna be a UFC fight. Rules, everything. He's the one out here talking about my kick games on like a four, uh, my wrestling game on a seven. So he know what he's preparing for. He ain't prepared for no stipulations. He knows what he's getting into. That's true. Floyd. I told you don't do it, man. Looks like you're doing it. I wonder now, what the... Fights, it's going to be a different story. It's most likely going to be Conor McGregor. Yeah, well, they can't even get him to fight. Where he at? Unless uh, Floyd says, I'll do one fight before I do... Because uh like make him that, like make him wait or work for it almost. When you TMZ, know Floyd Floyd always <laughs> wants something to work in his way though. Go ahead. When TMZ interviewed him, he said he didn't know he was gonna fight. They asked him if it was gonna be Connor, he said he was like, Well, you know, I don't know yet. He was like, We'll see what happens. Uh he said it may or it may not. He's like, You ain't talked about it much. It's like, alright, here we go. Yeah, he wanted Connor to reach a level, his level, of stardom. I mean, Connor was getting talked about, but Connor McGregor wasn't a star like he is now. When Connor became a star, Floyd saw the Bucks. Like, and when he saw the Bucks, <laughs> he said, "Step in my world." I don't want. He probably he saw, oh, I can make this much money. And he's Mr. Clouds with all the green money in his ass. But I felt like after you say step in my world, you duke him and make him feel like he's gonna get that fight, but he'll never get it. You have my thanks. So maybe it's not too late for him to duke him. He Here's said, Hey, I'll get the license and guess what? You're not getting that fight. I'm retiring an MMA fighter with <laughs> a perfect record of zero and zero. It'd be undefeated yeah, in the UFC. Yeah, yeah, it would be the numbers thing. But it would be trolling at its finest. And this whole thing with like taking a year to get his license and, uh, and actually fighting. We don't know if Connor's going to be as big in a year. Connor might lose two more times by the time next year rolls around if Connor fights. He could I think lose. He's, I think he's hoping for that. He probably so, is, because then, then the Connor fights off because Connor's not as big as a star. Somebody with Connor's butt. It's like I don't yeah. feel like Connor yeah. is necessarily going to lose at Sodom if he loses like another two or three times. Uh, so, we saw what happened to Ronda Rousey. Yeah, and she's at two WWE. fights in a row. But Ronda then, Rousey wasn't mentally set up for that. Connor McGregor lost before, and then he came back and he won again. How he took he... another L against Floyd, but he realized he took a W in that bank account, and he's still talking shit. He's still caught him great. He's still walking the way he walks. So how Ronda he... Rousey mentally was not strong for the loss game. She thought she was going to be on top forever, forever, but then she got humbled, and when she got humbled, she didn't like the taste of that humble pie. So how much did he, she... um, how much did Connor get from the? The Mayweather fight? I don't remember. Alex, you should know this. Uh, it was close to a hundred million. I don't think it was a hundred million exactly. It was close though. But that's a damn good paycheck. That's something that I would retire off of. Who got what uh, Mayweather gets? <laughs> he gets like three to four hundred million. And he, he gets he nine digit checks. If it's less than nine digits, he's not going to do it. I don't know. That's what I was saying. So yeah. if, if this, so if this fight that could happen. And the MMA goes to nine digits. They probably want five hundred. <laughs> then I feel like Floyd is somehow helping the UFC because after that, 
UFC fighters are like, okay, you get somebody who comes from another sport coming into our world, and this motherfucker get nine digit checks, we should at least get about 75. The same, <laughs> if not more. Uh, of course, they're not going to do a billion. No. But no. Floyd has the power to bring multiple different sponsors to the UFC that they haven't have. Like his, like his business. <laughs> well, not his business. I'm talking about like other big name brands that usually sponsor his boxing matches. Like who? Anybody like know? I don't know. Is he with Showtime? Uh, that's a whole bunch of people. I don't know all his brands. I'm not somebody who's his business manager. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he gets money. But so. sponsor, <laughs> sponsors are the people who help bring in the, uh, the people. They're the ones who help bring in the money for the fights. So a Floyd steps in that MMA ring. Hey, he's bringing a lot of money, and a lot of the fighters are gonna be like, "Hey, where my check at?" I've been Speaking doing this shit that. for how many years, and I don't get that type of check. I'm the champion. Where's my check at? Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, Conor McGregor, who's already been stripped of his featherweight championship, will now be stripped of his lightweight championship on April seventh. They made it official today. Or we'll win. It, it's apparently been official. Uh, they've uh, the fight's been uh, set between current interim weight lightweight champion Tony Ferguson versus Habib. It's been made since uh, I don't know. It's been made for a while. So why did he get stripped for? Because it's not defending it. <laughs> Inactivity. You have to defend the belt. Oh, January eighteenth was when that was announced. Oh, it's not the first time it's happened to him either. So he uh, needs. So when he comes back, he's not even the champion. I don't even think he's worried about that. I think he. I don't know. Conor McGregor is like that cat and mouse type of thing. I think he likes that. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you this. But I'm coming back for it. And he very may, you know, may come back for it because who else is the face of the UFC other than him? I don't know. They're gonna they're gonna get a new one. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to get a new one. If if Connor just wants to sit there and enjoy his hundred million and act like a douchebag, they're gonna have to get somebody else. Man, I don't know if Dana White is ready to make that that uh split though. You gotta do what you gotta do to keep business running. All right. When one face but, leaves, you make another. But, but Connor made that nigga a lot of money. He did, and before Connor it was Ronda Rousey, and before Ronda Rousey they had uh, others. So, <laughs> but Ronda Rousey, she over there doing fake scripted shit with WWE, so uh, <laughs> she doesn't matter. So and fake. she'll su and she'll suck at that. Mm -hmm. That video, yeah. you can yeah. tell that video is so fake. That's why I she'll probably movie lose movie. at WrestleMania, and then she'll cry her ass all the way up to the damn ramp. And be like, I'm retired from WWE. I'm retired. Let's stop it. Yeah, she she talked all that. She talked all that shit on Ellen, and then she got her ass whooped, embarrassed. Yep. She can do no nothing but blame herself for that. Maybe you're not built out for that UFC. And when she thought that, she said, "You're right." But when she said that, and when she left, uh, Vince McMahon was like, "Hey." Come to WWE, we got some checks for you, but WWE's trash now. It is, it's and it's ridiculous hell. that she even went there. I'm like, you stupid little girl. It's what? not unfathomable that she would go there, because I always felt like it's going to come to the point where she does go to WWE, and she did. She did. Full-on contract. How? But, yeah, it, it looks... Yeah, I don't care how she looks in there, man. She's just... No one wants to see Ronda Rousey anymore, man. I'm sorry. It's over. You can't force her on us. I, a lot of us grown adults who actually have lives don't watch WWE no more. So, sorry. 
Sorry, Vince. We're not falling for your little tricks again like that stupid-ass XFL you got going on. <laughs> We're not going to watch that shit either. And, that, and here's the thing. If, Con if Connor doesn't get back in the spotlight soon, he's going to be out of everyone's minds in the exact same way that Ronda Rousey is going to be. It's already out of everyone's minds, actually. I don't know, man. Back, Connor's talking, you know, his gift of gab is what's keeping him in there, too. People love to hear him speak, so... Yeah, they love to hear him speak, but he's not speaking anymore. That's the thing. He's been gone since the fight. We haven't heard nothing since that fight. Just hate. You think he like could be a good movie? actor? I think he could be a good comedic actor. Hmm. Maybe. I don't Definitely think he has do a chance to do it. Yeah. He's no John Cena. Though. He's no John Cena. <laughs> hey, it must be too much talking shit. He, he would definitely be in the action movie though. Action Something movie, preferably yeah. with The Rock. Oh my god, so. can you imagine that shit? I don't want to see Conor McGregor fight The Rock. The Rock is like six foot eight, two 250 pounds. Conor McGregor barely weighs uh, 160, so no. I feel <laughs> like he could be a next villain in Fast and the Furious. Oh my god, really? Did you just go I'm there? not denying. I'm not denying that he couldn't <laughs> be, but... Uh, I just don't want to see him fight The Rock. I can see him fight uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jason Statham. Yeah, he can fight Jason Statham and be fine. Yeah, they're, they're like the same height, I guess. But I don't know. It'll be funny to see The Rock versus Conor McGregor. That'll be funny. Jason Statham's too busy out here making movies about fighting sharks, though. <laughs> You're kidding me. Is either that what no. he's really doing? There is a movie coming out with Jason Statham. He's going to be fighting a shark. I'm not kidding. I don't know if the trailer dropped yet, but that is his next movie. Jason, Jason, you have always been one of my favorite action heroes. You've always been. But now you're doing some shit like this, man. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't. I I can't condone it. I will not. I will not <laughs> condone this crap. <laughs> oh, I don't even care about it. Yeah, look what it's called, man. So I can get it's it. called the Meg, short for Megalodon. All right, that's enough. All right, uh, we're, gonna <laughs> skip, we're gonna skip on to another topic. The fuck is that shit? Oh, oh shit! Uh, it comes out this year. Trash. So uh, <laughs> little Zane is out here getting chased by young oh Tupac my God. fans. I mean. He's pissed off some people, man. I, he pissed off, he pissed off, he pissed off I'm people. surprised. I'm surprised. I, I feel like, you know, the young generation, you know, even though you might ne not necessarily be a fan of him, you know, I wouldn't necessarily see a whole bunch of the young generation sticking up for Tupac. But apparently, them niggas got that nigga the fuck out the building. Had his ass chased, man. And then he said the reason why he ran away from him is because he doesn't make gangster music. Let me see. Mm. I know he's young. Man. He's only 21, but still. Man, I man enough, enough of that young and dumb shit. Yeah, he's I hate stupid. Yeah, I, I hate he's dumb. Oh, he really is. And you already saw all that. He's like deactivated his Twitter and his Instagram. People are like, oh, he's being, he's got to become a uh, Will Pete. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? I don't see that happening. T Tupac beyond the grave, man. He's making shit happen, ain't he? He's getting these little niggas the fuck out of here. Oh my god, that's fucked up. He is. Well, like, like he was like, I'm, I'm gonna send my my pot soldiers, my thug life soldiers, out here, and that's exactly what the they come in different sizes, shapes, uh, fucking ages now. You got 15 year old Tupac fans out here. Motherfuckers ain't even been born the day he died. But my thing, I uh, chasing that nigga. My thing is also is he keeps saying, "Oh, I, I didn't mean what I mean." He, he's punished like O3 Guido saying, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean what I said." They took my words out of context. I'm like. Just man up no, a minute. Don't, don't they have that nigga on a cam saying that shit? Yes, they do. I ain't gonna take you out of context of saying that nigga's born. Fuck out of here with that, that lame ass excuse. How many times are we gonna keep using that? Nigga, you was probably high off your ass. Or on Xanax. You didn't really Maybe give a fuck quick. about Tupac. 
you probably felt that way about Tupac. I mean, he was like, you know what? No filter. I'm just gonna say what I want to say. You don't care. Why not? That's exactly generation? what he did. I'm not lying. If any other artist does it, like the new generation net rappers who do it, they'll get the same amount of hate as he did. A lot of these, you know, congrats to uh, the guys who got that kid out the battle, man. Huh? Give, give yourselves a pat on the back. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the kids who got the uh, little Zan. The fuck up out of here. Oh, okay. Good. They probably scared him now. He probably won't do any more songs, so. Yeah. Not Wait, that I have heard any song. I've never heard a song from him. And I don't want to have his song. He does that one weird song that comes on the radio somehow and called Butch Wade, and it's fucking terrible. I don't know. He, he seems like a guy I don't want to, like, be in the elevator with. I, I feel like he's doing something. Some evil yeah. things. Oh, some evil things, man. Yeah, like, why the fuck would I want to stand beside some grown ass 21 year old with some baby teeth? <laughs> I don't want to do that, man. And then you have, then you <laughs> have, um, what's it called? I'm trying to think what it's called. You can finish what you're trying to say. They, they, and they claim that he's a cloud rapper. He is not a fucking cloud rapper. A what rapper? Like how Travis Scott is and all that. Travis Scott and a few other artists. Cloud, like Cloud. I don't, know how, I don't know how to explain. Like, like SoundCloud rapper? No. What you mean? It's a it's a it's a Clout? Yeah. Like how? It's a subgenre of clout in music. Yeah. Oh my God! Is there? If you know, there's, there's all subgenres. Hey, I've clout. been defending you, young niggas, for a long time now, but this shit gotta stop. Bro. Shit gotta stop. And a lot of you 13 year old that. motherfuckers out here, y'all need to chill out with that shit. Yeah, we already talked what about last, We already said the last video about um about O3 Greer saying his that he trusted did you hear that he did he said he, that he didn't mean what he meant? He didn't mean mm -hmm. it, basically. He didn't mean it. That a lot of bitch ass guy basically. A lying ass. Man, fuck out of here with that shit. Are we still talking about this story or are we done? Man, fuck Lil Uh um, Fuck the little piece of shit, okay? So what are our thoughts on the Infinity War trailer? Now we're you... finally getting to the good stuff. We are in I am in puss, but Alex is mad all because Hulk's not in it. <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> right, who, who up, wants man. to start? Oh, here we go. No, no, oh, no. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. This dude's a, this dude's an idiot. I'm not mad to Hulk's in. I just said that they should have showed Hulk a little bit more. So shut up for trying to get in my thoughts. Stupid, short, dumb bastard. Uh, you fucker. Oh, you're, the, you're the fuck ass who told me. Uh, where's Hulk? <laughs> like, where's Hulk? <laughs> Brandon, I simply said, where's Hulk? That doesn't mean I'm mad that he's in it. Jeez, stop trying said... to predict other people's stuff. Stupid You could have said bitch, something, man. but you didn't. Shut up! <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, let's all talk about it. Oh, no, fuck. shut up. No, shut up. <laughs> Literally, don't fucking talk. Get the ball. Okay, so, not letting Brandon talk this time. I'm going to just right. speak on the meaning of the, the actual trailer itself. All right, talk to some other people. It was a good trailer. It looks like it's going to be a good movie. The jokes in the trailer didn't land, but I feel the movie's going to be more serious than jokey. Hopefully, uh... Basing that on what these guys have done with both Winter Soldier and Civil War, I think we got ourselves a more serious movie coming. But of course, since we have people like Spider-Man and the Guardians of the Galaxy, the jokes have to be in there. Right, right. Please don't, you don't have to be in there. Please don't be all. It won't be the. It won't be a Marvel movie without it. So. <laughs> that, the That's thing. true. Also, the you other thing have... we got. The other thing is. They should make it serious, like how they did for Civil War. Civil War was actually pretty serious. It had a few but it, comedy it had bits, jokes in there. But, yeah, it was not, it it was not, but it was all serious, though. They were trying to be serious the whole time. But this one, I think they should be serious, but they could have a few funny moments, but not like the whole movie, like a Guardians movie, because you know how Guardians movies are. They always have to be comedic. I think that's what's going to be 
the one of the few bad parts of the movie is the humor. I, I hope it's not open mic too. Well, because when I watched it, I'm like, yeah, this shit is not funny to me. Like any joke that they was trying to hit, it's not funny to me. It's like However, Black the Black scenes Panther, were very, were very attracting in the movie. So I can tell, like, this is gonna be, a, it's gonna be, one hell of a blockbuster. It's gonna be the biggest of all time, all time. And now it's the same. It's got hit five hundred. It's got hit five hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> we already have movies that make it past that. Give me a bigger number and stop giving me uh, the little I'm, shit. No, I mean, I'm talking about first. I'm talking about the first weekend. I'm talking about no, like, overall. Oh. Nope. <laughs> now worldwide, sure it could hit 500 million worldwide, but never in the states. We don't have did. enough That'd theaters, be, nor that, do we have oh enough my showings. God, you bitch. Then you, you also have. Ass. Yeah, if it if it comes out in Japan, not Japan, shit, uh, China, the same day, it probably could hit 500 million first week. They would have to do like over a hundred million in China for it to hit five hundred million in one week. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. But yeah, I don't know. Alex says it's gonna be the biggest movie of the year. It is gonna be the biggest movie. You got another one that's gonna surpass it? Hans Han Crapo? Hans Crapo is not surpassing that. <laughs> Han's Crapo, what is that? I'm talking about the Han Solo movie, I called it Han Crapo because it looks like crap. I, I feel like the Meg is going to surpass it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we're all rooting for the Meg, it's going to hit a million dollars. <laughs> it's going to do it, man. Oh, oh man, man. Take yeah. the station. But Thanos, he looks pretty badass in it, don't he? I mean, it's already breaking pre-ticket sales, and yeah, he looks... Uh, pretty dope. That line that he said, I think it was to Tony, where like, I hope they remember you. I was like, oh shoot, he about to kill that fool. I hate that they put that in the movie, in the trailer. Why would you put that in the trailer? This early. You're basically revealing to the world what's gonna happen. You well, keep I think them they, in the dark. I think they want people to know that someone's gonna die, because they've they been talking about him. it in all the interviews. Yeah, they don't want you to know who. <laughs> Of course they don't want you to know, but I feel like if you watched or just read the comic book, you know that the, somebody in the Avengers is going to die. Well, back then it was the Avengers who died. But now this is going to be either or. It could be both of them. So, who could be do Cabin, you guys, it could be Iron Man. Which guys are you putting your bets on? If you had to bet... Who are you putting it on that dies in I, Infinity I'm, War? I'm still, I'm still saying Cap. Cap. I'm still saying Cap, like I said it before. Cap. Mm, 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 mm. And why is that? Mm. Oh, uh, shoot. Oh, I, just feel, I just feel like it's a send, it's a send, it's a send off. I just feel like all the, all the dominoes are falling in place, man. Okay, I feel so. like somehow... Just like when remember when I spoke about uh Tony's vision in the uh Age of Ultron mm -hmm. where he saw uh all the Avengers dead. I don't know yeah. then again that could have been I don't know. It could be a sign that he's gonna die. But I feel yeah. like Cap I feel like definitely Cap is gonna die. Does it okay. Yeah. Well, here's um. why you both of you are wrong. Here's why you are wrong. <laughs> Iron Man's gonna die, and here's why. Number one, he was the first, technically, the first Avenger to start this whole universe off. He came out first. So, it would have been a decade. Yeah, it's been a decade since the first Iron Man. Ten years. That we've seen Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. It's about time for him to fall out of the mold. That's number one. Number two is... Iron Man has the most to make up for. He created Ultron and that whole problem. Some people would even say that Civil War is the cut... That Civil War happened because of him. Some people would say. I don't think that. But some people would say. Yeah. 
and it, there's a scene of in the trailer not this one but the previous one where he's sitting there crying and a lot of people speculate that he's crying because spider-man got hurt and guess who brought in spider-man iron man tony stark so that's another thing he would have to make up for therefore since he has all this stuff to make up for he would sacrifice himself in some way to make up for it and he would be the one to die in the movie boom it's good analysis but I don't believe Marvel's just gonna have been laying it out like that but is it is um, I, re I remember when uh when it seemed like he held War Machine in his uh, in his arms, we mm. thought it was that we all thought he was dead, did we not? Yeah. When we saw that trailer, nigga wasn't dead. He just had a broken arm. Well, also, the other thing like, is, like you fall thing is, uh, a thousand feet in the fucking sky, and you just got a broken arm, nigga. But that's the Get thing. Out. I don't think I don't think the fans are going to allow Marvel to get away with doing that bull crap again. I think they would be pissed off if they don't actually have a death this time of course because it wouldn't match it wouldn't go up with anything exactly but I, 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 get, I get why you would say Iron Man would die it makes sense but I don't know I'm picking Cap Alex is picking uh, Iron Man but uh I'm pretty damn good with the predictions now I'm pretty damn good with the I'm just warning you. Oh, hold on, hold on. You're good with the predictions? Alright, alright. Let me break it down. I broke it down on your Facebook. I'm gonna break it down again. Okay. You picked Marshall to be a I mentioned you. Logan. I mentioned Logan. <laughs> listen, listen. I mentioned Logan. Right I mentioned Logan to the front. You got, one, right. Right. Hold on. You you got one thing right. You got one thing he right. Let's talk about all the things you got wrong. Marshall beating WU, you was wrong. The Patriots winning the Super Bowl, you was wrong. Okay. Please don't, please don't sit here and act like it was an easy thing to pick against the Patriots. I ain't saying it's easy, but then you pick. Okay the then. To take it. So then it would make sense for me to pick it? out the Jags. Yes. Exactly of course, of happened. course, I'm gonna root for my team. I, when I when you root for your team, you're gonna have to say that they're gonna win. There's a difference between rooting for and being a realist. I'm a realist. I understand. I was rooting for lose. I was rooting for Marshall, so I go hard. I root for the Steelers, so I go hard. Of course, you have mm -hmm. to be a realist for the Bucks because they haven't done anything for the last couple of years, for the last ten years. So of course, you're gonna have to be a realist. It's almost like being a Browns fan. You're gonna root for them to win, but you know they're not gonna win. I didn't believe I'm we're going to win, so I'm, I'm really going hard. Thing. Going hard for a team that you know is so, going to lose. So who necessarily thought, did the majority of the world think that the Jaguars would knock off the Steelers at home in the playoffs? No. The smart, pe the smart people knew. The smart people no. knew. No, 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 no. A lot of people said the Steelers were going to win. Okay, let me tell you something. Here's why that the smart ones knew because they beat you in the regular season. So we knew. But it was the regular season is not postseason. It's not the postseason. It wasn't but even a huge they win. They won, but did they win off of the basis that they won in the regular season? No. That's what my prediction was. And guess who was right versus you who was, was wrong? Right. Listen, it's a difference between of what you say is right and what's wrong versus the fact that you're rooting against the team solely for the reason that you don't like them. <laughs> Just like rooting against the Patriots. I was being a realist. I thought Tom Brady has gotten by away with the refs all fucking year. He's going to do it the same thing again. And I picked him. You are Stephen A. Smith and you need to stop picking any predictions. Listen, man. I'm going to still make these fucking predictions. I don't care what you say. I don't give a fuck what anybody on Facebook say. Matter of fact, people don't even give a fuck about what I say on there. Only you do. Nah, it was just funny because first you got called out by a mutual friend, and then I had to jump in. And he get laughed you. because he thought your joke was funny. It wasn't necessarily because you was true. <laughs> it was. It was funny, and I bet he agreed. He doesn't know what damn teams I like. I haven't seen him since 
fucking middle school. Nah, but didn't Reggie hit you with the how you feel? How you feel now after that game? Man, Reggie's a Colts you? fan, so he shouldn't be saying anything to me. <laughs> Tell Andrew Luck to actually play one game in the damn season, then hit me up. Fuck out of here, that shit. Damn Colts. I can't say that shit. Nigga, they can't even beat the damn Patriots, nigga. How the fuck are you gonna shit on us? Fuck out of here. Damn. Colts fans. I'm gonna fuck uh, about Indianapolis, nigga. Bay Manning is gone. Alright. But I would understand why he would feel like that way because we have beasted on the Colts the last five times that we played them, so. Makes sense. But anyway. But these movie predictions, I'm a beast, man. You you sit here and talk about sports, but but these movie predictions, I'm a beast. <laughs> I told you, Brandon. Please tell him what I said about Logan. That Logan was God, that, God, and he did. He did. What what did he say before that though? He's not gonna die, guys. He's not gonna die. He was like, listen, listen. They're not gonna let him die. You know, you always gotta tell people to listen before we actually talk. You're like, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> nah, nigga, you listen. He died. Get over mm, it. And uh, that was another sci-fi movie. I think there was two of them. And I said, yeah, that's gonna be trash. He was like, nigga, you don't know. The Thousand Planet movie. Then that, I can... that one. <laughs> what was the one with Jennifer Lawrence in it? What passengers? Here we go. Yeah, I said that shit listen. was gonna be trash. And was it not? I never even wanted it to be uh, uh, tr not trash. I was just hoping for good sci-fi. <laughs> That's exactly what I was like. Nah, this, this one ain't gonna work. And I was right. Oh, oh, and like uh, Valerian. Movie. What was it? Valerian? Valerian? Yeah, Hold up. I haven't friends. seen Valerian. I don't know if it's trash. I don't know if that's trash. I haven't seen it. We still need to watch it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. We'll let you know. But yeah, these movie, these movie predictions, man. If I haven't got all of them, I sure got most of them. Oh, okay. That is sad. That is sad. That's what but you anyway, it, it's time to get down to some, some personal things. Alright, so I, I was scrolling on my Facebook. You know, Facebook is where all the news is happening. All the mm -hmm. good things and good juicy topics are being produced. I was scrolling down and one of my friends had shared something from the shade room. It was a woman. It was a tweet from a woman that said I can't remember what the fuck it said. I should have downloaded the picture. But it basically said that uh, men should definitely be paying for all the rent. And that if you're going 50-50 with your man uh, that's not a. That's not your man. That's a roommate. What? Yeah, fifty-fifty on the rent. That's not your man. That's a roommate. Well. So, I pose the question to you, gentlemen: Should men pay half the rent along with that lady, or should they pay the whole thing? Listen, as you say, I'm going to hit you with the listen. Listen. Right, listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> well, here's the thing. The world knows, and most of the people on Twitter know, I'm betting if you go to her mentions and her replies, she was getting straight roasted after that. That uh, splitting 50-50 yeah. is this little thing called equality. And well, everyone knows that she's pretty much saying that women should depend on men and not and never ever have to depend on themselves and never be independent. That's what she's saying. That's what she's saying. And when and we are in the, the Me Too movement, we're in the feminism age. You can't get away with that. And I'm telling you, she probably got roasted. For, so hard that her mama and her grandmama and her great grandmama feels it. I, I saw a lot of ladies who agreed, and I saw some who didn't. I saw some men in there too who felt like she was a gold digging hoe, but. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Because I think you should be able to pay half. 
if you have a house or an apartment, you should be able to pay half. Even if you, well, it's like it's like if like a group of guys or a group of girls like moved in with each other, they'll split the rent. Even if you're dating, they'll, most couples do that. I don't see what couple wouldn't split the rent. Well, this is the thing for me. I feel like if this was the man's house to begin with, I feel like he should pay the whole rent if she moves in. But they sound like you don't want. Hold on. Huh. Yeah, yeah. If you sign, but I don't know. If you're married, you gotta pay the rent. I feel like you should pay the rent if you're married together and you're living in that house together. And then she's also doing other things. You know, we're not gonna pretend like you know women just you know lay on the ass and just don't do anything all the time. <laughs> A lot of these new hoes do, but. I won't say all of them. I believe there's more than what they do is just cooking, cleaning, and all that shit. I think that some of them do pay some of the bills in the house. But I feel, you know, rent is sometimes the big, the biggest bill of them all. Because you don't pay that rent, your ass is sitting <laughs> on the sidewalk for the rest of the year. Or how many other years until you find another place. But I believe that, you know, depends. <sighs> yeah, it, it necessarily depends on the living conditions and shit. Like, if I'm paying the whole rent, I, I expect something out of you instead of just laying on your ass all day. I mean, that's just me. But I feel like if you're married, and you're living in your house. You should probably give out that rent, though. I mean, but if she's also, like I said, if she's also taking care of other priorities in the house, it's kind of like it is fifty-fifty. So I don't know. Depends. I don't know. I don't know if I can think of a situation where it's okay for anything for the pay half. I guess if the man's not making so much and the woman is making probably a little more, but she also know the man is a little down. I think you should, you know, be considerate, throwing some dollars on that print where both of our asses are sleeping in the car for the rest of our lives. I know what y'all saying. I know what y'all saying. But I think it's the perception that we feel like all these women who are asking for these things that they, they don't do anything. And it, for a lot of these generation girls, man, it seems like they don't do nothing to earn it. So I don't know. Maybe we need to get it with a cougar bitch, like a forty-year-old girl. Well, not a girl, but a damn woman. Oh, where she'll man. pay the whole rent. She'll be cooking breakfast and all that shit, man. All you gotta do is put her orthopedic shoes on and get her out the door. So. I oh, nah. Ladies. If you're looking for somebody to pay your whole rent, it definitely ain't my ass because I'm broke as fuck, so. But Brandon, he got all the money. Oh, yeah, that's the bills guy. The bills. Oh, God. I hate you, asshole. The bills go to Brandon. Ain't that right, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> bills. Brandon love them bills, 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 bills. He loves them bills. He loves taxes and he loves bills. Hell of taxes and bills was a woman he'd be cheating on them every night. Well cheating on with them. But you get the joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other topics for us to speak on? I believe we can go on to our last topic. Alex, you want to go with it? Ladies and gentlemen, last week we gave you our biggest topic, our biggest, longest video of a March Madness style tournament involving albums released in 2017 and a couple from 2018. Now, I hit you with 
a March Madness style film bracket. Because I can't think of To else. where <laughs> I had to think film. of something. <laughs> bracket. bracket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so you know, film bracket. Exactly. But this going to be all films from 2017, no films from 2018. And I picked the films that were at least popular in some <coughs> way. They had to have some sort of popularity with them. No one could not have not heard of them. I did not pick any indie films. These are films that the masses have either heard about, went to go see, or at least considered seeing, and they had some hype at some point in time. Now, we have to mention. I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Starting in the upper left corner, we have. Get Out facing Dunkirk, Wonder Woman facing Transformers 5, Spider-Man Homecoming facing War for the Planet of the Apes, and Coco facing The Shape of Water. Now, in the upper right corner, we have Star Wars Last Jedi going against Baby Driver, Guardians 2 versus Thor Ragnarok, some friendly fire in the Marvelverse, Blade Runner 2049 facing Justice League, and it facing Girls Trip. <laughs> uh, Girls Trip for the win. Girls Trip for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit the bottom left corner. Two movies that came out within a week of each other, actually. Logan vs. Beauty and the Beast. Valerian vs. The Greatest Showman. Pirates 5 vs. Happy Death Day. And The Fate of the Furious versus Jumanji, The Rock versus The Rock. Oh my god, really? Now for the final bracket corner, the bottom right, we got John Wick 2 facing Alien Covenant, The Dark Tower facing Baywatch, two movies that underperformed and underdelivered. Bright facing The Mummy, and Despicable Me 3 facing Kong Skull Island. Ladies and gentlemen, Make your brackets. Tell them to us. Tell us who your winners are. We will reveal the winners of this bracket next week on the Unfiltered Podcast. Episode whatever. Uh, what episode not, are we on? I believe episode 10. Yeah, episode 10. 10 episodes, man. That's, that's an accomplishment all in itself. It we should, give, we just we should give give, clap it up. Go ahead and clap it up, man. Clap it up. 10 episodes, man. <laughs> We got like 90 more to go. Yay, so, yay! Uh, <clears throat> can't wait to do that movie madness bracket, the film bracket. Alex, my question yeah. is why do you have Coco versus the Shape of Water? So you have a Mexican fucking a fish, basically? Mm. <laughs> You're a despicable <laughs> human, Brandon, and you shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you the one who did it, not us. No, you're the one who made that lame, stupid joke. So shut your mouth. I'm funny. Ooh. That wasn't funny at all. You're funny, oh, you're looking. funny looking. You're funny looking. Oh. Right? Oh, man, you always taking my jokes. I shit. said it before you. I was going to say it before you. Anyway. Nah, I've been said it before you, bitch. No, okay. don't even act Ooh. like that. Ooh. Don't even act like that, man. See what he does, ladies and gentlemen. He steals jokes. He steals ideas. He steals. Mm. Okay, I'm the one who created the hip hop should, mask. Shit. You should be playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but the way you steal, though. Ooh. Well, ask that Ben to get me then. The what? Get Ben. Shut up. Man, shut up. Let's bitch. Let's see. Your <laughs> name will be Big Bitch. <laughs> oh, God. And that will wrap up episode 10 oh! of the Un filter podcast these two are going at each other's throats i don't expect it to end anytime soon but we're cutting the video that's what we're gonna do everybody say your goodbyes hit that like and share button you know and subscribe too we need subscribers we need them we need more subscribers ladies and gentlemen you want more content we ain't posting no more content till we get 10 subscribers dog i'm calling it now oh, i thought you were going to say 10,000 oh. at first <laughs> like shit uh, matter of fact i'm i'm up in it to 10 million nigga oh, let's do God. it dog. oh we went to we went to diamond play button <laughs>
<laughs> nah, p the people are going to call my bluff every time. Am I? But exactly. yeah, just hit that like and subscribe button. Share to your friends or family. Comment. You know what I'm saying? Say what you like, what you don't like about the show. If you don't like the show, we don't really give a fuck. Uh, and I'm out. Peace out. Get out, everybody! I know you love it. I know you love it. Uh -huh. Kissing and touching when we in public. I know you love it. That pussy feel like top in the rain. Whoa, whoa, got